Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today you can see we've got a Sunny Roo SR5000 TL inverter, so this one's a 5 kilowatt inverter. And if you have a look up on the screen on this one, we've got all three of the lights flashing continuously and, um, and this B readout here is 0 kilowatts, if we go to A is zero, 0 kilowatts as well, everything's 0 pretty much. Um, other than the only thing it's telling us is the temperature of the inverter. So. Uh, yeah, total, totally, totally dead, pretty much. So if you, if your Sunny Roo inverter is doing something like this, having the, the, all the lights flashing like this, the only thing you can really try and do is try and reboot the inverter. It, it may be a glitch with the system that a reboot might sort out. So it's always important when you're shutting down a system to follow the shutdown procedure, which should be something like this: turn off the solar supply main switch, which is located in your switchboard or inverter AC isolator. In this case, we've got an inverter AC isolator here, so we just throw that off. And then we've got turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter. We've got that over this side here. So we just throw that off. And I'll wait for the inverter to go completely blank. And, uh, and then, then we'll try restarting the system and see if, we, uh, if anything changes after a reboot. So there you can see the inverter is totally blank now, and so we'll restart the system. The shutdown procedure is always very important that it's followed um, correctly. That startup procedure doesn't really matter so much as long as you turn everything back on. So we'll turn on the DC here and the AC back on, and we'll wait and see what happens with that. See if we get any uh, any better result. You can see it's just trying to start up there, but. In this case, you can see it's gone straight back to uh, this glitch where the, all the lights are, are uh, flashing and, uh, and it's getting uh, every, every readout on the inverter is zero. It's saying that uh, the frequency of the grid is zero, which is definitely not right. We've definitely got power from the grid here. But yeah, it's unfortunately, this inverter is completely kaput and we're going to need to replace it. Now, unfortunately, the Sunny Roo company has disappeared. They're no longer trading anymore, so it's not something which is going to be covered under warranty. It is something which I've had to try and get repaired, which, um, oh, look, I wouldn't really recommend because you can spend up to like 500 bucks trying to get one of these things repaired, and then uh, it, it could fail with another problem or the same problem again the next day, and uh, you're still left with no warranty. You're much better off spending a bit more money and getting a good quality replacement inverter. So, as I said with this one, this is a 5000 TL, so the 5000 means 5000 watts, 5 kilowatts. And if you're ever wondering, on the side of the inverter there should be a data plate as well, which will give you some more information about the inverter, so you can see the model number at the top there. And you can see the AC output here is, uh, is a total of 5000 watts, so this is a 5 kilowatt rated inverter in this case. But look, if you're having an issue like this with your Sunny Roo inverter and you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland type of area, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help. Feel free to give us a call and, uh, and we'll uh, help you get your solar power system back in operation as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video, I hope it's been helpful.